wouldn't die for anything. I wouldn't die for a... That's the biggest change in my life. I'm now 30 years old, so this is kind of a... Uh, you feel free to come sit back down if you want. Oh, thank you. No, just come and sit. It's cool. Do I look all right, Sam? Am I doing good motions? I look weird, don't I? I'm a weird-looking bloke, because that's a problem. So I'm kind of... Sam's got to work his magic, you know. You know, all right. <laughs> I was joking earlier when I said I don't want you here. Like, I... There's an interval coming up. Please stay. <laughs> I'm just... This is the bit I can be casual, you know, because I don't know where, what I'm going to do with this material. I suspect it will one day be used as evidence. <laughs> But I don't know. <laughs> Terrorism. <laughs> what was I talking about? That was it. I wouldn't die for anything. All right, there, we'll cut him here. <laughs> this is how it works, you know. This is how TV is. You watch Live at the Apollo and all that stuff. You watch all these big stand-up shows and you think, wow, these guys are so smooth. They take, uh, honestly, a 10-minute set on Live at the Apollo takes 12 months to film. <laughs> <laughs> it takes 12 months. Because every minute, it's the bloke going, oh, leave me alone! <laughs> um, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Do you think there's going to be a market for this DVD? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> I don't think so.